Is it really enough? Giving my heart and my soul, but still don't feel like enough. Feeling inadequate, still getting after it. Feeling is tough. Feeling is rough. Hold on a second, I'm feeling too much. Really gonna flow like water. But I don't drink it enough. Spend more time with my daughter. Really enjoying the energy. Teaching my mind, I'm living close. All of the things I'm living with are stuck in my mind. All of these thoughts throwing me off. But hold that thought just for a second. I got two incoming calls. Tell me that I am enough. Tell me that I am enough. Tell me that I'm not too much. Tell me that I'm more than fragile. Tell me that I'm more than fragile. Tell me that I am enough. Tell me that I am enough. Tell me that I'm not too much. Tell me that I'm more than fragile. Tell me that I'm more than fragile. Look, confidence I'm seeking, insecurity speaking. Just to numb these thoughts, I've been overly drinking. Talking to myself like my nigga is you tweaking. Couple steps away just from diving off the deep end. I've been lacking love or it's probably bad reception. So this is an L, which for me it fits fine because you really need some space. But it looks amazingly cute if you make it a little bit of a scene. Make it a little bit of a scene. It looks amazing. As I was looking at the video, I do want to make a change to it. So the design is nothing wrong with. I created the design myself. I did it on Procreate. I did it digitally. So that is not the issue. The issue is the occurrence that they appear in. So I actually want to switch the back to the front and the front to the back. That is what I want to do. I feel that the image on the back will have a lot more view presentation when you have it on the front. It draws in your attention. It's a very fun, funky, lively uh, picture that depicts house music. As you can see, it falls away, but that's because the way that I'm wearing it right now. Okay, I give it a little bit of fashion. So that's why it falls away. But I think it's better for the fit if you know the base goes to the back of it so there's something for the front and there's also something for the back let me know in the comment section what you think about this particular shirt is beautiful so I know I look crazy right now with these gloves but um, I ordered a art print for a friend of mine and she was interested in having one of my art prints but then in a very small post car format which is 10 by 15 centimeters so I just got it in and it looks Amazingly good. This is what they call um, chicle, chicle printing, fine art printing. I ordered two just for myself to see how it would look, and one for my friend, of course. This looks amazing. Wait a minute, I need to sneeze. This looks amazing. It looks amazingly dope. It 
does look, wait a minute. So I just wanted to show you what happened to the image that I ordered. And what happened to me? That girl. No, not being pixelated. Not giving Windows 2000. <laughs> not giving that. At first, I was very ecstatic. But then I took a really good look at it and I was like, eh, it's kind of pixelated. It is kind of pixelated. And I couldn't figure out, well, what made it be so pixelated? Because that is not how I saw it in Procreate, which is not really true. So I took another look in Procreate to see, well, what has happened? What happened? So looking in Procreate, I saw that the image was also pixelated. You cannot create a pixelated illustration being printed from an unpixelated source image. It's just not possible. So I just had to acknowledge the fact that that was the first mistake. You made a print from a pixelated source image. So how come the source image was pixelated? Yeah. Let's get into it. So in Procreate, when I created the canvas for this particular size, this is 10 by 15, which is a standard size here in the Netherlands, 10 centimeters, 15 centimeters. It's a standard size. I created the canvas, but I decreased the size of this image, this illustration. As so I increased the size back to the 10 by 15 centimeters, it was pixelated. I tested it earlier. So I was like, there it is, there's the mistake. So instantly I already knew what to do. I saved the image as a JPEG on the tablet. I created a new canvas that is 10 by 15, or not as a JPEG, as a PNG, and took that image, inserted it as a file on the new canvas, and there you go. The pixelation was instantly gone. So wise lesson, do not, do not, if you want to have like really crisp lines, because as you can see, there's a lot of line work and I wanted the lines to be very crisp. If you want to have crisp line work, do not do what I just did. All right. Just create a new canvas. Take your illustration as a PNG, insert the file, and then it will guarantee be very fresh when it comes to the crispness of the lines. All right. Don't do what I did. But further than that, the delivery was very fast. That is a new one. That is new because I have had, oh man, the stories. Ugh. I've had people that were just, you know, companies that were just not given what it's supposed to give. And this is literally a fine art print. This is chicle. All right, I can just say that this is chicle. This is a fine art print. This is what it's supposed to be. This is what it's supposed to give. This is what it's supposed to give. So I'm really happy for it. Delivery was really fast. The contrast, what I'm telling you, the way that it's, it's delicious. Just the contrast and the vibrancy of the colors. I literally wanted already to give it to her, but to my friend, right? Cause she ordered this particular illustration, but I cannot give it because look at the line work. Mm? It's like somebody with arthritis was creating these line works and that's not what it's all about. So now, but I'm very happy with the outcome. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. I cannot wait till Friday when it comes in. Y'all, I'm going to be so happy with this, but I'm going to put it to the side here only oh, yeah, you know the two mistakes that I made not really checking out for the line work and also not really checking out for um, having a test run I was already excited but I'll take the cost of it I'll take the cost of it I 
adding another illustration to this book. I'm definitely gonna call it a book. The book of, of, of MCJ Studio. <laughs> I am enjoying myself. I am absolutely loving scouting for pictures and seeing what it is that I can create with it. I am noticing that my hand and eye coordination is improving a lot better. It also feels natural for me to sketch. I also notice if, you know, when I am not really, um, how you said it, if I'm a little bit tired, you know, a little bit fatigued, then the drawing is going to come out a little bit different than when I'm just there clear headed and, you know, excited and really into doing the illustration. I do also notice that. So your mood definitely will influence the way that you create. But overall, I am definitely seeing improvement, improvement into my hand eye coordination. I always advocated on this particular platform, but also in real life that you do need to have a hand eye coordination as an artist, especially if you are a painter and you paint people, portraits, if you're an illustrator or anything else. I'm not saying, listen carefully, I'm not saying it needs to be realistic. If you have a particular style that you like to work in, do that. I'm not going to be a judgment of what style needs to be um, on top and which are not considered to be the best. That is your personal taste and how you like to work. So please don't, don't be bothered about that. That is not, uh, that is not the, the premise of the discussion. I do believe that you have to have a good eye hand eye coordination because if you don't use it, you will lose it. All right. And drawing is such a beautiful thing. It's such a refined, um, skill of your hands, of your body, of your eye, of your brain, um, to be concentrated, but also to draw what it is that you see and, and just the hand placement. I know it sounds like I'm, I'm, I'm making it to a science, but it actually is because how many people do you know? that just whip something out. In the beginning, I, I was like, oh, sketching. I don't know, I've done it. I haven't done it in a while, but now it feels just natural to pick up a pencil, to take the color markers and start drawing, start coloring. What I also in the past feared a little bit was me using Copic markers because I still haven't really, I haven't really graduated from Copic marker school so to speak, figuratively, I, I don't know if a couple of marker school is there people. So don't ask me about it. I'm just using it as a, as a, a figurative, a figurative speech, but I haven't really graduated from that. But the more as I'm using it, the more that I'm starting to understand it more and more. I've used it a lot in the past, kind of watered, watered down, but now we are using it again. And I just, I'm in love with the vibrancy of Copic markers. Now on the right side of the sketchbook there you will see also markers but these are not refillable so if it's empty if it's dry then it's dry and if i've seen a couple of them they are girl they're dry my guy they are dry like space like, like toast okay empty like space dry like toast but i i also like them i just don't think that they have the same intensity as the copic markers they definitely rule you can say whatever you want to say about copic markers that they are expensive and um uh, they, they use a lot of ink if you use it on normal paper that's why you actually have to use marker paper this is normal paper and if you use normal paper it will suck the life out of the car uh, of, out of your markers but when it comes to intensity, Copic markers just, they, they just do it. They just do it. Can they both be used? Absolutely. But you do have to, you know, here and there, certain colors just don't real, really work with each other. So not everything, but you can definitely use them with each other. That's no problem. What I also use still are color pencils. I use the pencil that you see lying down on a sketchbook, the red one, I use that to make like light shading forms and things like that. Um, so experimenting with what it is that I have and what it is that I want to see in my mind. 
which leads me to the following to not be afraid to express what it is there in your mind because if it doesn't come out on paper very well yeah you know if you use procreate you can you know adapt it and you can change the size and do all of this and that which is the reason one of the reasons why i love using the tablet for you know with procreate but when it comes to traditional drawing i think the pressure is on there because people are like it has to be right the first time because if i have to do it over again i have to use another sheet of paper and i have to start over again and i've lost hours this and that and the third what has helped me is just to be relaxed and to start lightly sketch things out lightly till you come to the point where you're like okay i'm really i'm i'm, I'm confident i'm comfortable with it so it also gives you confidence when you see something you're like oh i can draw that yes you can draw that you, you definitely can do that so it builds up confidence it builds up another type of confidence that i don't believe that people have when they are only doing digital work um, so i do have the advantage that i'm doing both even you know sketching on canvas and yes, I do use a projector, but if my lining is not completely well, I can take the picture and just, you know, take it over from there. That's no problem for me. I have that confidence. Now, <laughs> I build on that. That didn't come just out of nowhere, all right? Let's say like this. It has been given to me, but I had to work for it, all right? Everything is given to you. You have to work for it to be used definitely so yeah I'm, I'm absolutely loving the sketching i am excited to see how this is going to turn out as a book um i actually don't have any other attention intention i'm sorry i don't have any other intention than to fill up the sketchbook just to fill it up just to see what's going to come out of it to use the colors to create scenes, scenery, patterns. I don't know, whatever comes to mind. I have no, baby, it's what it is. It's my sandbox. Nobody can tell me what to do here. It's my sandbox. <laughs> Nobody can tell me what to do over here. Um, there is another instrument. It's like an inked pen. It's a Japanese inked pen that I use for the black lining. When I first had it, I had I have this 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 pen for years. I think I have it for over five years, but I haven't used it that much in the beginning. So that's why it's still full and it's still good. It didn't dry out. It didn't misform. You know, the pencil didn't misform. It is a quality pencil. I'm working with it right now yes that's the one i'm working with it right now now i do not know the name of it but I, if you want to know put it here in a comment section and i will come back to it you see i'm working with it it is a japanese type of inked brush i wouldn't say that's a pen it's more like a brush and as you press on it you can create different um, thickness of lines so you can very bold lines but also very fine lines here and there i absolutely love it i've used it for the upper sketch and also the lower sketch i'm addicted i absolutely love it it gives such a definition into it because um even though i'm not like a traditional comic reader i love the style of how comics are being created and in comic style inked actually the traditional inked back in the day was being used which is the um, which is just a black inked is being used but people switched over to fine line pens um, Japanese ink brushes like the one that I have right now Copic markers people switched from that you know people went along with technology in modern time and anybody had time to really be very careful when it came to those inked pens because you have to be really careful if you dip your ink, uh, pen into the inked pot and it drips on your paper it's done you cannot get that uh spot out no way no how so you have to work around it some way or somehow and yeah i mean it's up to you what you need to do 
but I do love it. It gives me that um, comic feeling and I kind of love it. I love the comic feeling. So I think I want to incorporate that more into my sketches. Maybe some sketches I don't want to do it. I just want to leave it out. But for this one, it really came out very well. They are also giving me this Kill Bill type of feeling. As if they are characters from the movie Kill Bill. I don't know if y'all know the movie. I've seen it umpty of times. I've seen it 3,099, 500 million gazillion times, but I absolutely love that movie. Um, and it, it just fits the colors, the looks, the way that they are looking, you know, it, the one is looking off into the distance. The other one is like squinting his eyes at you. Like I see you over there. I absolutely love it. I love it. So I did create a third piece on this particular page, but I got to tell you, I didn't press record. Mm. I didn't press record people. So you're not going to see how I created it from start to finish. You could, you're just going to see the end result. Okay, baby. At the end of this video, you're just going to see the end result. You just have to do it with that. But the way that it all came out together, they really looked as if they were like this gangster team out of a movie, which was not intentional. Not at all. Not at all. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. Are these going to be things that I want to sell? No, not really. It's just, I mean, it's a sketchbook. I do know that people do create art books from their sketches, but to be quite honest with you, I, I don't believe I have that many sketches to make a book out of it. And I also believe that it is something that you're, you know, it's for your fans. Your fans might be asking for that. And then it's something that they can have as, uh, you know, something to, to, to remember you of. So I don't consider that to be something that I will be looking into very soon. I, I just want to be focused on just, you know, sketching and everything else. Yeah. It's the only thing I want to do right now. So yeah, you know what? I think I've said everything I needed to say in this video and I'm just going to let y'all enjoy the rest of it. And I will be coming back at the end. All right, before I leave, I'm, I'm still gonna say goodbye. So enjoy the rest of the video.
All right, so we are at the end. I'm going to say subscribe, like, and share. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment behind here. Let me see what it is that you thought about it. Take care. Be blessed. And I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.